Here at Clemson University, we're pioneering methods for reducing energy consumption and increasing sustainability through programs such as the Solid Green Initiative and Biofuels Research. Here at the Biosystems Research Complex, Dr. Terry Walker and his staff are finding innovative ways of producing biofuels. One of the ways they produce biofuel is by cultivating algae and extracting oils from those algae. The algae grown in the lab is heterotrophic, meaning that it can grow in the absence of light by feeding on glycerin. This is advantageous because glycerin is a byproduct of biofuels and can be recycled through the algae. This video will instruct you on how to extract the oils from the algae grown in the dark. First, you will see the bioreactor, which contains the algae. Then, how to take a sample and concentrate it to prepare for the last step, lipid extraction. The bioreactor is assembled and covered with foil to keep out light. The tubes are removed and the whole system is autoclaved or sterilized at 121 degrees Celsius. After autoclaving, the probes are reattached and the agitator is reassembled. Light the flame to reduce contamination. Attach a sampling tube to the pump and release the restriction valve. Flame the tip of the sampling tube. Turn on the pump and begin collecting. Once you've gotten the desired amount of sample, turn off the pump and reattach the restriction valve. Drain the remaining sample from the tube into the waste container. Keep pumping until the tube is clear. Wrap up the remaining tubing. Place the collection tube into the centrifuge and balance the weight. Run the machine at 3000 RPM for 15 minutes. The centrifuge separates the algae cells, or biomass, from the supernatant medium. The medium is discarded. Wash the walls of the container with water and centrifuge again. The algal biomass is then dried in an oven. To begin the lipid extraction, 20 milliliters of hexane is poured in the dried algae sample. A homogenizer is used to break apart and disrupt the cell walls so that lipids can be extracted. The sample is homogenized for 5 minutes. Place the homogenized beaker into a hot water bath set at 55 degrees Celsius for 5 minutes. Repeat the extraction process again and homogenize the solution for an additional 5 minutes. Next turn on the cold trap and build up a vacuum. Load the solvent evaporation system with the tubes, making sure the caps are removed. Close and tighten the lid. Set the appropriate speed, temperature, time, and vacuum pressure. Then turn the machine on. This machine allows the vacuum to suck out all of the hexane and leave just the lipids. The final product is the usable oil.
In the, this past year, we've uh, ramped up pretty dramatically uh, uh, the amount of oil that we're, or biofuels that we're producing on campus right now. It's uh, it's been mainly a research effort up to this point, but we're we're trying to scale up and and uh, actually use our products on campus. And we're we've displaced about 20% of the oils. Um, or diesel fuel on campus with biodiesel. Renewable energy is the future, and Clemson is on the frontier of this emerging market.